I think that Fraggle Rock was different in its day because it was this giant puppet extravaganza. Fraggle Rock is a timeless piece, and when you watch it today, it still feels pretty relevant. We all bought into the premise, and it became a life-altering experience. It has remained something that we're proud of after all these years. It was always in the house. We had Betamax tapes with Fraggle Rock on it. It's, it's magic, absolute magic. <laughs> There's just something kind of transporting about the spirit of the show. I just remember the feel of the music. It was so funky. It was funny. The characters were authentic to who they were. It was cool and different, and it's really, really special. I had this like instantaneous feeling of, I have to do that. I want to be part of that. Are we ready? The original Fraggle Rock is the beating heart of this series. This is not a complete reinvention. It's still very faithful to the original. We knew we wanted to keep the Fraggles. We knew we wanted to keep the Doozers and the Gorgs and Doc and Sprocket, but give it a 21st century update. If you go right up close, it's a lot like the original show. And if you pull back, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Seeing how huge it is took my breath away. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> the script is so funny. Not just funny for kids, they are genuinely funny. Your mind is going to be pew, impressed. It brings a warmth and a kindness and a sort of sense of belonging. We have an amazing team working on this series of Fraggle Rock. I am honored to be back helping continue the magic. We've pulled out all the puppet stops on Fraggle Rock. There's so much mechanical creativity on this show. It's magic. This is the control, which I operate with my thumb. I have never heard of such a what? I have one too. Wow. The Creature Shop builds a new and improved Junior mm -hmm. Gorg. Yeah. His face is just so much more expressive now. So you can get all kinds of really great movement out of it. Mm. <laughs> you thought I was asleep. <laughs> I'm a good actor. <laughs> Doozers were always the most fun. The Doozers in this version of Fraggle Rock are technologically advanced. We're able to 3D print all their accessories. Doozer technology is limitless. We have a Doozer jetpack. Welcome to the 21st century. Music is a huge part of Fraggle Rock, and the original songs were just amazing. I don't know if I can share this, but we're even reusing some of the classic songs. Harvey Mason Jr. has just taken that music and completely reimagined it, but it still feels really familiar and really accessible. The new songs fit right in line with the legacy songs, so I think you get the best of both worlds. The music is so, so good. I find myself singing them all the time around the house. I can't get them out of my head. This is nothing short of a dream come true. <laughs> this whole situation is kind of surreal to me. After you. Oh. We're taking silliness very seriously. <laughs> John Tartaglia is so deeply invested in his writing. He's producing, he's performing, he knows wow. everything about Fraggle Rock. It was like having a historian in the writer's room with us. So wise, he's so wise. I think I need a steaming hot cup of radish juice. It's been a day. Ooh. Working on the original Fraggle Rock was so special, I thought I would never experience it again. But I'm experiencing it here so much, I'm so thrilled. Being able to acknowledge the legacy that came before us and contribute to the future legacy is pretty monumental. Fraggle Rock was kind of bold and fearless. It touched on some pretty heavy things sometimes, and we're not shying away from those at all. That's one way that I think we're honoring Jim's vision. There is a spirit about Fraggle Rock that does constantly remind me of my father, which is this sort of buoyant optimism that reflects the way that my father fought and his philosophy, which was there are serious things in the world, but you have the power to add love into the world. The world needs Fraggles. I knew it! We need Fraggle Rock. The world has changed since the original series. I would say that we need Fraggle Rock more now than we did when we first made it. That's my cue. It is about understanding, and I think that's really the importance. You're not alone. I think audiences are going to be pretty blown away by how the world looks, how funny the characters are, how much they love each other, and how much fun that is to watch. There's really nothing like this on TV, so I was really excited that it was coming back. We have so many surprises, mm -hmm. songs, games. My hope is that the fans will be transported back to their childhoods, and kids that are sitting will feel that it's possible to have a hole in your wall that goes down to Fraggle Rock. <laughs>